class is in session and the professor is recording. We recorded this live on the Twitch, professor underscore G underscore gaming. Come check me out when class is live, when lectures are happening. But we didn't hit the record button and everybody in the chat, they know about it. And now we're going to do it again. So welcome, everybody. We are going to do the deadly death drop, the 3D prize wall. Let's bro. Number one, shout out. Jay Nasty Booty, thank you for all the help as always. Number two, this prize wall and all of my suggestions are that. It always depends on your roster. or As we say when the class is live, it depends on your rooster. So make sure that whatever you get for your rooster this time around, you get it that's going to help you now in the short term as you talent up and get ready for a feud weekend next week. Whatever you're getting off of this prize wall today is going to help you immediately and going forward number three the contest isn't over yet so as you're watching this video uh, make sure that the contests have all ended there are more medallions in the contest so while we're live on twitch i don't have the ability to draw on the board but i will be able to go up and down on here so ladies and gentlemen first off do not buy this <laughs> this is a waste of your medallions so x that one we're not even going to look at it moving on Number 1A, the first thing you should get off this prize wall if you have enough medallions is Bubba Ray Dudley if you didn't pull him already or get him through the bags or get him through shards because he is that good. He does smack. I suggest you get him if you can possibly do that. 1B is getting the specs. This plate, this ultimate plate is amazing. And if you haven't seen Zerzoro's video, make sure you do so because he lists about 20 different superstars that you can use this plate on effectively. So even if you don't get Bubba Ray and you do get this plate, this plate will help somebody on your roster. So definitely get him because your rooster will thank you later. Now, after that, if you've gotten these two things already, you still have some more to spare, but you don't have a strap for him, you can consider taking a strap. I usually recommend against this, but you're probably going to get a 40% gem damage strap, but check your straps and see if this is worthwhile for you. But I would suggest probably holding off on that because if you have extra, and I mean if you have extra plate currency lying around, number two on here is the plates out here in general. Now, most people will have enough for an escape artist plate. If you don't have one, they're always nice to have. So you can get yourself an escape artist plate, but the plates that are up here, the Shades of Rain, Devon specs, both are really good plates to begin with. Seal of the Acolytes is an excellent plate for anybody that does submissions. So if you have somebody that does a submission, that is one that you want to get. If you have Shotzi, this is a great plate, the Nightmare Insignia for Shotzi. It's also really good for the Hall of Fame. Ooh, yeah, snap it to a Slim Jim, dig it, macho man. Um, so that's a great plate to have as well. So the plates on here are excellent if you have the medallions with which to do so. That's where you should be spending some of your currency but that's the 2a the 2b of this is picking up some shards for somebody who you can then recruit maybe a rock and reigns if you are close enough to getting him or devon deadly get the tables that's somebody else that you can put those shards towards or even chelsea green also someone you should get on your roster if you can um, i would say get a plate before you get kevin owens or rob van dam sorry goldie Neither of these are better than a plate unless they be actually would be your best striker. Then I would say go ahead and recruit them. So that's my recommendations there. Next on the list would be to get the straps that are here. These straps are very variable. So be aware that you can get all sorts of different bonuses. So expect your 30% move defense or 40% gem damage. Those seem to be the ones you'll likely get. But this one is also variable to the class. So you might actually get a different class than what you're looking for. So just be prepared to have this sit on your roster for a while because we don't have a very good reality era class uh, of or era of um, superstars beyond what we've gotten sort of recently. Same with the legendary there. So once you've gone through all of that, this is where you're going to then go into the econ uh, of the prize wall. Never get star fragment cases. You'll only get 20 of the 400. So this is never really worth the time. I always suggest against that. 
always use strap parts. There's always more straps that you're going to need. So get your strap parts on. After that, get yourself Trickster token bundles. We're always short on tokens and TP for the most part. So get yourself those if you need it. Otherwise, get yourself some coin. That is the Dudley Death Drop prize wall. Let me know in the comments what you get. Let me know how you did. Appreciate you coming to class. In fact, you should be coming to class in the live like we are doing right now on the Twitch, Professor underscore G underscore gaming. And we'll see you the next time we got class. Give this video the old like, share, and subscribe. Professor out.